What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today I've been, I just wanna talk about Scarlet and Violet set, if I'm going to invest in it or not. I've been seeing everyone on YouTube, and I'm sure you have too, that everyone loves Scarlet and Violet. They're opening it and all of their thumbnails are just like, like it's so good, right? No, it's trash. It's so bad. Scarlet and Violet is the most dog set there is, to be honest. If you look at all base sets, they're all garbage when the set fully finishes, right? Like if you look at, let's, okay, for example, let's just look at Sword and Shield base, okay? Yes, we shouldn't compare old sets, current sets, but this is just what I have to say about this new base set that everyone loves apparently. So if we look at these top cards, right? These top cards here. Yes, this Marnie is nice. The Snorlax is nice. The rest of the set is ass. Okay, the rest of the set is garbage. What chase card in this Sword and Shield base set is there? There's none. This Marnie is nice, but it's not a Charizard. It's not a Rayquaza. It's not an Umbreon. It's not a Gengar. It's no Pokemon that everyone loves. It's not that. There is no chase card in this set. Now, if we look at Scarlet and Violet set, what chase card is in this set? None. You can argue the God of War. It's third most expensive card in the whole entire set. And you can say the Miriam. Yes, the Miriam is a nice card, but it's not a chase card. Five to 10 years down the road, this Miriam is not gonna be a chase card. People might want to have it in their collection, but it's not a Charizard, it's not an Umbreon, Gengar, Rayquaza, Pikachu. It's none of those kind of cards. These top four cards you see on the screen right now, they're your chase cards right now. When new alternate arts, like the Gengar, the Charizard, the Rayquaza, Umbreon, Pikachu, Espeon, those popular Pokemon, when they come out, those are gonna be the chase cards. Not Miriam. I'm not gonna be buying Miriam for a PSA 10 for $500, when I can buy an Espeon PSA 10 for, for $500. Like, these cards are not gonna compare to what the future top chases are gonna be in the future. Lugia or Miriam? You're always gonna go to the Lugia. That Lugia set is gonna be more expensive because it has a Lugia in it, because it has the chase card in it. This set has a Miriam in it. It's not gonna be expensive because it has a Miriam in it. It has no chase card, okay? Yes, it's a good set for right now because it's new content that we have. It's new FOMO that us collectors have, right? But if you look at the rest of the set, there's no good cards. Great Tusk, I think is a clean card, but it's so easy to pull. It's not a popular Pokemon. Iron Threads, that's ugly. This Arcanine. Arcanine is a Gen 1 Pokemon, if I'm not wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a Gen 1 Pokemon, right? It's a nice card, but is it gonna be a chase card five years down the line or down the road? No, it's not going to be. Like, the, there is no chase card in this set. I'm gonna repeat myself over and over and over, but there is no chase card in this set. So why am I going to invest in a set that has a lot of FOMO right now, that the pull rates are very, very uh, good, by the way, which is a bad thing if you're investing in the set. If you wanna open a box of Scarlet and Violet, yeah, it's probably gonna be fun because you'll pull like good cards in it, right? But if, you, if you're looking to invest in this set, that's a bad thing because you don't want people to, to pull the chase cards so easily, right? For example, like with Fusion Strike on why I like that set is because it's hard to pull the Gengar and the Espeon. When that box or that set is out of print run, it's gonna be an expensive set, in my opinion, because of the Gengar, the Espeon, and the Mew, right? There's a lot of chase cards in that set that are hard to obtain. So you're gonna have to rip more product in order to get those cards, and if you get them in a 10. That's just what I, I think on how I invest in sets. With this Scarlet and Violet base set, there's no chase card, and it's so easy to pull the chase card in the set. Like, I've seen someone on YouTube open a case of Scarlet and Violet, and they pulled five Miriams. I'm pretty sure it was Danny Phantom. I don't know if it's one case, but he had five Miriams. Like, what? When do you see someone pulling five Gengar VMAXs? Once in a blue moon? It's very, very, very rare. Everyone who I've spoken to, and I've watched videos on Scarlet and Violet, they pull one of the four chase cards every time they open the goddamn booster box, right? So if you wanna invest in a set, I don't think Scarlet and Violet is a set to invest in. Of course, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. You can do whatever you want with your money. But with this set, I just don't see it being a strong set in five, 10 years out. It might be fun to open, but because the set has no chase cards and because this set is so easy to pull the high value cards, it's a set that I don't wanna invest in, in my opinion. I wanna invest in the set 
that it's very hard to pull the chase card. Evolving Skies, yes, there's so many alternate arts, but the chances of you pulling the Umbreon or the Rayquaza VMAX, very slim, right? And I think that's why the booster box is already $500, and it's still in print. In print, it's not in print, but, but there's no more that's being reprinted. From a set that has so many chase cards, right, it's still gonna be expensive because it's so hard to pull that one card. This set has barely any chase cards, and it's so easy to pull it, so why invest in it? That's just my two cents on this set. I'm not gonna be investing in this set. I don't think it's gonna be a very good set. I compare this set to like Battle Styles, to Rebel Clash, to Sword and Shield Base. I think that's what kind of set that this is gonna be long term. I could be wrong. I could be looking stupid in the next five years, and this set could be $1,000 plus. But I don't think that's the case. I think this set is not very valuable in my opinion. It's too easy to pull the cards that people want, and I don't think there's a real chase card in this set. So I want to hear what you guys have to say on this set and what you guys think about this video. So let me know in the comments on what you think about this set and what you think if this is going to be a set that's expensive in the future or not expensive or things like that. So I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very short to the point, and I've just, I'm just tired of, of seeing all these YouTubers on, on YouTube saying how it's a good set, how it's awesome, and they're so excited to pull their chase card, etc., etc. I hope you guys see my point here. I don't think there's much value in this set, but uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.